Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here again. Annie, I have some more questions for you about teaching in Canvas. Mm -hmm. So in the previous quarters when I have been teaching courses in Canvas, sometimes for a variety of reasons, I know a particular student needs more time to work on an exam or an assignment or they're going to have a different window of time than everybody else. Um, so I know there are ways in Canvas to set up the assignments for individual people in your class to make sure that they have a different uh, due date than everybody else or a little bit more time. But I've also had the experience that, let's say at the end of an exam, which I usually do as assignments in Canvas, my whole class is going to upload it. And if people are having tech issues as they're like finalizing stuff and they go to upload their exam into Canvas through the assignment portal, but they're a couple minutes beyond where I've set the end of the exam, they won't be able to do it. The assignment will disappear. They come to my Zoom room, you, you know, frenzied because they're really worried that they won't have their assignment accepted. The TAs and I will try to extend the time so they have the opportunity to submit through the portal. But I think that would be something that would be helpful for everybody to know how to do. So could you walk us through different ways of setting extra time or extending time for individual students who need it for an assignment or a quiz or a test? Sure, I can show you all of those things and perhaps even a bit more that's related, but not quite the question you asked. So um, let's do the share screen of our uh, sandbox as always. Um, so we're gonna go ahead into a, let's start with a test because that's what you asked about first. So in my module, I have a quiz that's available for students. I haven't named it very creatively apparently, but I have unnamed quiz that students are you know, potentially taking right now. And you can see there are some important parameters set up for the quiz that will make things potentially challenging for students. So it is a time limited test. So, you know, the timer starts and counts down from the time they begin the exam. So if they run out of time or have a tech issue, you might need to reopen it for them. And I've also limited it so they can only uh, make one attempt at the exam. So again, if there's tech issues and they get booted out, what are you supposed to do with that? Um, so both of those things can come into play in you're in your quiz and off to the right hand side here, you have this option called moderate this quiz. So you can go ahead and click on that and then you will see all of your students in the class, just test student for us in our sandbox, but all of your students will be listed here and you can search through them if you need to find a particular student to open the test back up for them or give them some extra time. So to do that, you find the student you want and then you go to this little pencil edit icon on the far right hand side. Click that and then it's going to allow you to give the student different extensions. So if someone you know, missed the deadline, the, the assignment or the test has disappeared and they just need one more chance to reopen it quickly and resubmit, you can give them one additional attempt and it will reopen just for that student. Or you know, if they need more than one attempt because they keep messing up or something, you can give them as many extra attempts as you want here in this window. And then um, this is a related thing that you can do in this same window for students that have extended time through the SDRC for accommodations. This is where you would add that time even before they start taking the test. So if you have an exam that's 40 minutes and they get an extra, you know, one and a half time, you can add the additional minutes here and note that it needs to be the additional minutes because it's asking you for extra time on the attempt. So you want to just put the small additional amount of time that they have. Um, and then you can save those changes and they will take effect for that particular student that you've edited. Okay, so that's one way you can do this, but another way you can do this, which is not unique to quizzes in the way that I just showed you, those things are, um, you can change the particular due date for a quiz or test uh, or an assignment in much the same way. So in your assignment or quiz, you have this window that looks similar regardless of which one it is. Um, and you can scroll down to the bottom and that's where you have the assign to box, which is where due dates are uh, programmed in. So you can see that for this particular quiz, I've set it to be due tonight at midnight for everyone. You've got um, the whole class has to submit this. But say you have a student that needs an extension because whatever has happened and they need to submit it the next day, you can add a single um, exclusion for them and assign it to, you know, test student. I don't have any students, so no one's popping up, but you can search for their name and choose that single student 
and then for them change the due date to be the couple days after that and it will remain open just for them and not the other um, students and you can do that same sort of thing for if a student needs to take the exam early you can just make the exam available from an earlier date for that particular student like you know I mean, I can't go earlier than today, but say I have an exam scheduled for Saturday, I can make it available on the first for this one student and then have it close, you know, at an earlier time for this particular student. So there are a number of different ways you can handle that, but um, this particular due date section is the same between quizzes and assignments in Canvas. It's the same thing. Okay, thank you. The only thing I will point out, because usually I add the extra time for my students with accommodations here. Most of my stuff is through assignments instead of calling it quizzes or tests in Canvas so far. Um, here, you have to actually do the math. You have to calculate if they get time and a half, you have to make sure you're, you're doing that correctly so they have the, the right window. So instead of an 80 minute class period to take the exam, it's 120 minutes for time and a half uh, and you're inputting that correctly. Whereas in the other one, you just tell it how much extra time they get. So that's something maybe for people to keep in mind too. Yeah, that's a really good point. We'll make an additional video about, you know, administering exams in Canvas because you can do it different ways as, you know, I showed you with quizzes and Liz is talking about with assignments. Um, but that is an important thing to keep in mind that if you're setting the time, then you'll have to actually do that clock calculation for them um, in a way that quizzes can just add the minutes. Um, so pros and cons for using either way. We'll talk about those in a future video. Okay, we'll be back soon with more stuff.